just coming to look for you. I'll see you at the front of the house, OK? <coughs> Shh! Let's get going. <coughs> You weren't just making barking noises just now, were you? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Most peculiar. I could have sworn... I've got to go. I'll see you. Oh, can I get into your room to clean now? Uh, not at the moment, Mum. I've got schoolwork piled up and I don't want it disturbed. I'll see you. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Partridge. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Carrie. Morning, Frank. There, there. The dog won't hurt it, Mrs. Partridge. He's great with small animals. Better be safe than sorry. It belongs to our grandson, Sam. He'd be very upset if anything happened to it. You'd be upset, you mean. <laughs> so, this is the dog, eh? Well, he don't look much. Should have seen him at school. He rounded up all the young children. Kids is kids, and sheep is sheep. Yes, but he did it all on his own. Oh, that don't mean nothing. A dog can do lots of things on his own. But can he work to order? That's the question, my carry. Let's see, eh? Come by. Come by. Come by, come by. Perhaps he doesn't know it means go left. Well, I'm blessed. He understands. He may understand words, but he's got to understand sheepdog if he's got to be successful at the trial. Away! Hooray to me! Hooray! <laughs> no! Right! Go right! Hooray! When did you say this trial is? Saturday fortnight. I think I were right first time about him. And I didn't understand one thing Frank did. Not one. All this combine away. Why don't people just say left and right? And all that whistling. I felt awful. Carrie was so upset. Maybe if you'd asked him to use proper words. How? I'm a dog. Dogs are supposed to understand all this. Said. I don't know, but I'm not saying it again. What I need is help. Go on, what do you want me to do? Nothing, thanks anyway. No, go on, ask. Look, no offence, Brian, but you have problems understanding what humans say, let alone dogs. I know, it's a gift. Now, what I need is a book which explain what all these whistles and phrases mean. And there's the very person who'd have one. Miss York? No, Carrie. In fact, it might even do me some good with her. Yeah, it'd help you do things properly at the trials. More than that, it would let her know I'm interested in dogs and how they train them. Are you? Carrie? I was wondering if you had a book about training sheepdogs you could lend me. wasn't too bad, was it? The Dewey classification system was not invented by one of Donald Duck's nephews, Daniel. It's a system designed to make factual books easier to find. 
not a task for Mission Impossible. Please do these classifications again. More books on football, Jim? No, miss. I'm looking for something on dog training. Ah, competing with Carrie Howard, eh? You'll have to go a long way to catch up with that girl. No. What sort of dog were you thinking of training? A sheep dog. You know, with sheep. Oh. Oh, that's a bit specialised for the school library. We have books on other sorts of dog training, you know, sit, heel, stay, that sort of thing. Oh. The public library might be able to help. Or you could always ask Carrie Howard. Yes, miss. Thanks, miss. That's a good idea. Nothing on sheepdog training at all. What sort of library do they call that? I know. They've got nothing on what you do if you get your thumb stuck up your nose either. Useless. If at first you don't succeed. Hey, Carrie! Just in case you haven't got the message, I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to know you. And I don't wish to engage in conversations with you. Is that clear? If at first you don't succeed, what comes next? Who knows? Hi. What's that? It's a barometer. I found it in the school stockroom. Brilliant, isn't it? Does it work? No, not at the moment. But it will when I finish with it. But what's really great about it is this cabin on the top. It demonstrates the humidity of the atmosphere. Now, depending on whether it's wet or dry, either one of these fingers will pop out. Now, either this little man with the shirt on, or this lady with the umbrella. Hmm. Looks more like she's holding a sunshade. Oh, come on. She'd be hardly wearing a, a raincoat and carrying a sunshade. Huh. Could be a bathing robe, you know, for the beach. Well, in that case, why is he wearing a shirt? No, 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 trust me. He represents the sun and she represents the rain. Oh, the kids are going to love this. Huh? They'll all want to learn about the weather when this goes up, trying to predict which one's going to pop out. <laughs> Hello, Mr Sun. Hello, Mrs Rain. Hello, Mr Sun. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mrs Rain. Have a good day. Unusual. We had a call about a woman caught shoplifting. What's unusual about that? Seems like an everyday occurrence. Not like this. This woman had collapsed in the aisle at the supermarket, dressed in two layers of coats and a huge fur hat. Heat stroke? Hypothermia. She had six frozen chickens hidden in the coats and one in the hat. <laughs> Some people are strange. <laughs> Hello, Mr Sun. Hello, Mrs Rain. Hello, Mr Sun. Hello, Mrs. Rain. Hello, Mr. Sun. Where can I find a book on dogs? Speak to the gentleman over there. <laughs> Excuse me? Yes? Could you tell me where the books on dogs are? Books on the canine quadruped? Uh, yes. Hmm. And which particular breed of the uh, genus Canis familiaris are you researching? Sheep dogs. How to train them. Oh, right. You keep sheep, do you? No. No. But you have a sheep dog? Mm -hmm. Not really. <sighs> You see, the reason why I'm asking is that recently a spate of practical jokes have been perpetuated on this library aimed mainly at my person. I only want a book about training sheepdogs. Hmm. Some people think I am pedantic, a suitable butt for buffoonery. How to train sheepdogs? I am not. I am firm but fair, and I am precise. Precisely. Yes. Right, just a moment. Um, ship oh, yes, here we are. Um, their receptivity for instructions pertaining to the disbursement, retrieval and general control of the ruminant genus. Ovis? I think so. Bear? Yeah. Um, third shelf on the right over there, OK? Thanks. Yes.
Hello? Uh, security? Yeah, no, there's a dog in the library. No, in the dog section, isn't it? Yeah, yeah well, just hurry up. It's not a joke. No, hurry up. No, I want you to deal with it without causing panic and consternation to the rest of the public. OK, sir. Now be quiet. Shh. You see? It's going to eat that book. Oh, go on, stop it now. Don't panic. Yeah. That dog! <coughs> stop that! Come here! <coughs> <coughs> Seen a dog in here at all? Now to find out what all that stuff means. Yeah, all our worries about Jim. Mm. Would he settle into the new school? <laughs> All of that. And he's better now than he ever was. Quieter. Studious. How could anyone write a book about sheepdogs and not put in what the whistles mean? I wouldn't be surprised if Brian had written it. Carrie's bound to have a proper book. If only she'd let me get near her. Hmm. There's certainly been a big change in that boy. some of that dust under the bed.
You know, if you stand outside Jim's bedroom, you can almost hear his brain working. Like we say, he's a changed boy. Mrs. Rain. Hello, Mr. Sun. What's that, Mr. Walters? Ah. I'm glad you asked me that, Brian. What do you think it is? It looks like a barometer. Oh, yes. My gran had one, but he didn't have that little house on the top. That's what fooled me. All right. Ah, oh, Carrie, how's the training going? Hmm. It's not. Oh? Frank doesn't think the dog's any good. Oh. Well, he looked like a natural to me. Well, that's what I thought. But he gets all the commands wrong. Last time he lost the sheep completely. Oh, dear. Still, I'm sure it's just teething troubles. He's an intelligent dog. He'll soon pick it up. But will he pick it up in time for the trials? Frank doesn't think so. Don't be so negative. Remember Robert the Bruce? Who's Robert the Bruce? He wasn't a sheepdog. It'll be fine. When's your next training session? Tomorrow at the farm. Right. I'll come along and give moral support. Everyone always seems to do better when I'm around. <laughs> Come on, keep up, everyone. Leave your nose alone, Beverly. Right. Can anybody tell me what this is? No? Well, it's a barometer, an instrument used for measuring atmospheric pressure, the pressure of air. Now, what we mean by the pressure of air is whether it's expanding or contracting, getting bigger or smaller. And that depends on whether the weather is hot or cold. Now, can anybody tell me what happens to any gas when it's heated? Well, it expands. It gets bigger. So, the atmospheric pressure increases. In other words, the hotter it is, the higher the atmospheric pressure, and the higher the mark on the barometer. Now, a barometer can also fall. <laughs> if I don't turn into a dog soon, it'll be too late. Why? Because Carrie will be here any minute. Oh, yeah. I think I might just go home. You can tell Carrie you forgot to bring me or something. But won't she wonder what I'm doing here? I doubt it. Maybe it's just about to happen. Maybe it's not. This is a nightmare. Here's Carrie now. Hi, Carrie. Hello, Brian. Where is he? Who? Your dog. You mean the one that... Yes. Right. You were supposed to bring him here so we could get on with the training. Oh, yeah. Well, the truth is that Jim is... was... Uh... What Brian's trying to say is that... You see... You see... What he means but is too much of a friend to say is that you were supposed to bring his dog here today. Right? Uh... How could you? You know how much this tryout means to me. You did it deliberately. No. How could anyone be so thoughtless, so selfish? Come back here when I tell you off. Everything all right? Good. Well, I don't know what you're all waiting for. We've got work to do. It's our Sam's kitten. It's gone. It went missing last night. We haven't seen it since. Oh, I'm sure it'll turn up. You know what they say about cats having nine lives? That's what I told her, Mrs Jessop. You know what women are like. No. Tell me. 
Sam's kitten. So little. Anything could have happened to it. The fox. A fox wouldn't bother with a kitten. It wouldn't make barely a mouthful. <laughs> have you thought of becoming a counsellor? No. Good. Don't worry, Mrs. Partridge. We'll organise a search party just as soon as your husband has put the dog through his paces. Thank you, Mrs. Jessup. <sighs> Shall we get on? Carry, I take it all back. Here. What the? Here. He was very good. He was. I'm sorry, Carrie. You can't enter him for the trial. Oh, come on. A good dog has got to obey his handler every time, Mrs. Jessup. This one's a rogue. You never know when it's suddenly going to go off and go its own way. You can't use a dog that can't be trusted. Listen to him now. Right out of control. He doesn't sound out of control to me. I think he's trying to tell us something. He wants us to go there. Be a winner, all right. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs>